Hi, welcome. This is Teres Abraham from Life Mastery Solution. And it's Sunday evening and I'm getting ready to plan out my week and I wanted to share with you my process for doing that. Now every Sunday, because it's the beginning of the week, I always, always, always spend time planning out the rest of my week. And I, there's a few steps that I go through, so I'd love to share that with you and hopefully it'll benefit you. Um, the first step I do is always set the intention. Who am I required to show up as? Who do I want to be? What what qualities, what characteristics do I want to bring out in me? So what is my intention for the week? For me as a person, for me as a woman, for me as a business owner, for me as a speaker, author, trainer, coach. I set the intention for who am I wanting to show up at? Who am I wanting to be? And then I create my schedule from that place. The next thing I look at are what are my goals? What are my big picture goals and how have I broken them down for this week. Now I do this in the beginning of the year and I do this every month. And so for the week I look at my month long goals and then I look at well what are my goals, I break them down to this week. What is it that I'm required to complete? What is important for me this week to accomplish? Now that I have my goals, I have the big picture, I look at my projects and I've got my project board over here. I'll take give you a little quick peek of that. Um, and I've got my project board and it's got everything that is important to me and how I've, um, all the tasks involved and all the, um, the, and I've chunked them into groups. And so I look at that and I ask myself, okay, so what it, what needs, what, what is required, what is required for me to complete this week? And I've got my handy dandy, uh, a day planner here and I absolutely love this planner. It's got a monthly uh, visual and then it breaks down into weeks and also days. And I'm still a paper and pen girl. I um, I know a lot of people are going to the automated system but I love to see it visually. I love to hold it in my hand. I love to write. There's power in having ideas and all of your intentions and everything. Um, on written form, so I, I definitely still use this. So I look at my goals, I look at my intentions, I look at my goals, I look at my projects, and then I start to calendarize everything. And so every every meeting I have, every project, every um, client call, every coaching call, every writing um, block of time, I schedule everything. So I look at my schedule and I make sure that I, I schedule blocks of time, including driving time. If I have an, a, a meeting or an event or I am going somewhere, I actually always schedule driving time. So my calendar is very clearly laid out as to what I'm doing every single day. And I also schedule free time. So everything that you um, are required to do, you want to schedule your workout time, um, you want to schedule your family time, your creative time, your, uh, again, your writing time, whatever it is, um, family relationships, all of that into blocks of time. So you are, you start to own your day and you start to own your schedule and you start to be in control of what you spend your time doing. And this allows you to create more freedom for yourself. I know sometimes entrepreneurs or creatives or, or people in the spiritual space um, are very resistant to scheduling things because they feel like they're getting blocked in or they feel, they feel like there's not room for creativity. But I promise you as a recovering spiritual, let's just do whatever I feel like in the moment, let me just be present to what I feel like, I realized I was not being productive because I was wasting a lot of time and I was waiting for, you know, a surge of energy to, um, I was waiting for something to tell me what to do and nothing was happening. So it's important that I schedule my, my days and my time and what I found is I've created a lot more freedom for myself and I've created a lot more effortless flow in my life because things start to get complete so I'm not carrying the baggage from the incompletes from the previous day. So I encourage you to take some time out today. Set your intention for the week. What is it that it's that's important to you? How are you required to show up as? Who are you cry who are you required to be? And that's who are you required to be for your business, for your clients, for uh, the team that looks up to you, the team that's looking for direction from you, your family, your significant others, who are you required to be? And then look at what are your goals? What is it that you want to accomplish this week? What are the projects? What are the tasks? What are the things that need to get done? 
and um, and start to schedule it and schedule everything. That's relationship time. That's um, creative time. That's taking care of your body. That's giving yourself blocks of free time. Schedule your free time. Schedule your bedtime. Schedule your learning time. Schedule your meditation time. Everything. Put everything down in writing. And um, and you'll find that when you have start to be to when you start to be in control of your day, you will start to feel a lot more free, and you will start to feel a lot more productive. So have a beautiful week. Let me know how this works for you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.